Since Mentor Marine started back in 2000, the goal has been to make an automatic trim system that not only looks good and works well, but is also easy to install. How to make a product that requires no new cables, no extra boxes, and at the same time, it has to be better, faster, and more precise than before? By engineering every detail for minimum size and optimal performance, we made everything fit the control panel. Installation that used to take hours is now a question of minutes. All you have to do is change your manual switches to a new automatic control panel and you are done. This video will show you how to do it. Before starting the installation, make sure that the trim tabs are working properly. Press the buttons on the upper side to run the tabs down. Make a visual inspection to ensure that both tabs have been lowered. If you have hydraulic trim tabs, there should be enough oil to lower both tabs. Now, press the buttons on the lower side to run the tabs back up again. Make sure the tabs have come back up. Make sure that the main breaker is switched off before starting the installation. Release the nuts on the back side of the panel. Pull out the entire panel. Then cut the wires. Use the drill pattern to mark the location of the holes. Then drill the holes and check that the panel fits. In this case, the holes are in the same place. All we need to do here is a bit of filing to enlarge the hole for the connector. Peel the wires. Connect the wires according to the connection table in the manual. The trim tabs on this boat are InstaTrim Boat Leveler Hydraulic Tabs. According to the manual, you should find a white, green, yellow and red wire going to the trim tab pump. Insert the positive wire into terminal 1. Insert the negative wire into terminal 2. Insert the white, green, yellow, and red wires into terminals 3, 4, 5, and 6, respectively. Terminal 7 may be connected to the ignition if you want the trim tabs to retract when switching off the engine. If it is left unconnected, the tabs will retract a while after coming off the plane. Normally, this would be the way you want your trim tabs to work, so we leave Terminal 7 without connection. Make sure the wires are secured with cable ties. Plug the connector into the ACS. Use the supplied wing nuts and tighten them by hand. The 
ACS has built-in sensors, which measures the boat's movements and should be mounted with the starboard button facing the starboard side of the boat and the port button the port side. The ACS can be mounted upright or any angle between upright and lying down. Now we are ready to switch on the supply. The auto indicator is blinking to signify that calibration is needed. Press the uppermost and lowermost buttons simultaneously for 4 seconds to start calibration. Keep the buttons depressed for another 8 seconds while the ACS is calibrating. The ACS will now run the trim tabs into their uppermost position. Then the tabs are run downwards and back up again. This calibration may take up to 60 seconds and should not be interrupted. After calibration, the control panel starts showing trim tab position. The ACS has detected the trim tab type during calibration and can now show an estimated position of the tabs. The trim tabs are now in the uppermost position. After calibration, verify the connection by pressing the buttons one by one and observing the trim tabs. Check the actual movement of the tabs at the transom. For the automatics to work properly, the trim tabs have to move in the right direction when controlling them manually. Now we are ready to take the boat for a ride. Run the boat at cruising speed. Manually control the trim tabs until you find the best attitude. Then press and hold the auto button for 4 seconds until the auto indicator is lit up. Now the attitude is stored in memory and the ACS set in automatic mode. The ACS Attitude Control System from Menta Marine will get you faster onto the plane. Put your boat in proper trim and correct listing every time you go out, making for a smooth and enjoyable ride for you and your passengers.